Hello, I'm Amy. To start off, let me tell you a short story. Well, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. So one day, when I was outside playing my own made-up game of Harry Potter, my grandmother, who is 75 years of age now, came outside and watched me play with admiration. As I saw her, I stopped my game, went, sat by her, and then I asked her whether well, she too played games like me in her childhood. Then, with a solemn face, she started telling me her childhood story. It took me by surprise on how sad she was in her childhood. She was forced to get married when she was just 14 years old. And by 16, she gave birth to her first child. And from there on, she had to act as an adult, even though she was still a child herself. Do you think that this is fair by her? Some think that it is not worth spending money on a girl's education, as their job is to do household work in in-laws' houses. Once my grandmother finished explaining her story, I took a moment to reflect on the things that she could have done but had missed out. She had missed out on friendship, on a good education, on sports, on getting a good career, and most importantly, this is a violation to children's rights as well as women's rights. Now, if you don't mind, let me ask you two simple questions. The first one sounds a bit funny, and I know that most of you know the right answer to it. Which is the important meal of the day? Is it breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Raise your hands if your answer is breakfast. Then lunch? Then what about dinner? Most of you raise your hands saying that breakfast is the important meal. And yes, that's the right answer. Now the second question I'd like to ask is that what if you got married while you are still a teenager? Let's say you are 13 to 17 years old. Would you like it? I don't think you would, and neither would I. But to think that there are children all over the world and even in some rural areas in Sri Lanka who are willing to and are forced to get married at such an early age. Well, luckily, I'm from a family whose parents think that education is more important and that children should spend the first 18 years of their life on creating and discovering new things. Can you all remember the first question I asked you about the important meal of the day? which is breakfast. Similarly, childhood is the important, childhood is the breakfast of our lives. Childhood is the most important and precious stage of our lives. We should spend it by filling it with happy and good memories because childhood doesn't last for long. This shows us why and how we should work to prevent early marriage. All parents must educate their child because an educated child is more likely to make wise decisions in the present as well as in the future. Let's start this from our generation so that youngsters can look up to us and follow. Don't you like to invest your child so that they become a force for change in the society? You might not understand how it will affect your child if you force them into early marriage. I'm talking about early marriage, which means a child getting married at any age under 18. From most of the people I've spoken to, they tell me that the first 18 years of your life should be a fun, free, and independent life where you should get to know new things and discover anything. I agree with them 100%. But just imagine you're married at the age of 14 or maybe 17. Think of all the responsibilities you have to hold at an age while you are still immature, especially girls, 
will have to face problems like childbirth and motherhood. Some may even get subjected to violence, exploitation, not being able to complete their education, etc. Take my grandmother for instance. Think of all the possibilities she could have done rather than having an early marriage. She could have had a good career on something. Or maybe she was good at sports, but her parents didn't give her the opportunity. This is where you have to open your eyes and see what your children are capable of. This is where you have to give them the opportunity to ha help them form a better society from here on. But sadly, what happened then is not what's happening now. What happened then was that parents forced their children into early marriage. But now, children are willingly wanting to get married, even if they're under 18. This is a problem we need to take into serious consideration. Okay, just imagine, your child comes up to you and she tells you, she's 18 and she comes and tells you, I wanna get married. As parents, you are not agreeable with the decision your child came up with. What are you going to do? How are you going to react? The best thing to do is to calmly explain to your child that early marriage is not the best thing for her and that she can miss out on so many opportunities like if she's good at teaching, maybe she can join a teaching course or maybe a cooking course. But whatever you do, do not force your child into it if they are not interested. Always give your child freedom to think about what they want to do in the future. Teach your child that the society has to change and that early marriage is not the best thing for them. But whatever you do, never force, but encourage. Discourage your child of getting married young and encourage them to travel all over the world, learn new languages, make friends from other cultures, etc. Will we make or break early marriage? It's up to me, it's up to you to make the right decisions and move here to make a better society. I stand against early marriage, and so should you all. Let's make a change and break early marriage. Thank you.